This is eight-year-old Jennifer Keelan. This took place March 12th, 1990 at the Capitol, and this is what is known as the Capitol Crawl. It is a huge defining moment in disability rights. She has cerebral palsy. This little girl's gonna climb up the steps ahead of me, and I'm not gonna be able to make it. And she's gonna make me look really stupid. The Capitol Crawl protest for disability rights March 12, 1990 was a critical event leading to the passage of the ADA. The idea was to symbolize the barriers confronting disabled people. More than 60 activists abandoned their crutches, wheelchairs, and other mobility aids, and they began crawling up 83 stone steps that led to the Capitol. This was a monumental moment for a very real demonstration of the lack of infrastructure for disabled people in the United States of America. The fact that even the capital of our country is inaccessible to the disabled people that live in it. Congress passed several pieces of legislation listed here in order to help prohibit various forms of discrimination. All of these laws helped create precedent for the idea that being disabled could and should be legally protected from discrimination. In 1972, Senator Hubert Humphrey actually proposed to amend the Civil Rights Act to include disability status. Republican President Nixon vetoed the law twice, uh, first in October 1972 and again in 1973 because he opposed federal funds being spent on independent living centers for people with disabilities. He called it fiscally irresponsible, a badly constructed bill, and a massive assault on the pocketbooks of millions of men and women in this country. After more than three years of waiting, many disability rights activists would no longer continue waiting. So instead, they sent a letter to Carter and Califano saying that if Section 504 regulations were not issued by April 4th, ACCD would hold a sit-in at every HEW building across the country. They responded saying while they endorsed the demonstration, they did not accept the demands. So basically, you can do it, but nothing's going to happen if you protest, is what they were saying. The very next day, the sit-ins commenced. The longest-lasting and most famous Section 504 sit-in took place at the Hugh office in San Francisco. This protest began with the large rally on April 5th, which is why it is known as, partially why it's known as 504, because April 5th. The protest began with a large rally on April 5th, and then smaller numbers of demonstrators would enter the federal building. Um, the protest was supported by many other activist organization, organizations as well, including the Black Panther Party, who provided meals for the demonstrators and sympathetic local politicians gave them even mattresses because of how long the sit-ins lasted. After a 23-day protest, they agreed to sign the regulations written, with no modifications. And as a result, Section 504 was finally enforceable and people with disabilities could be covered by its protections. All thanks to the power of protesting the power of activism.